What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the cycling road all the way here to Fuchsia City. Yes, I know, it was very, very quick and all that stuff, but we got important things to worry about. And that is, we gotta go to straight to the Safari Zone, because there's quite a few things that we can actually find right there. And, well... Now, as you can see right here, this is the home to rare Pokemon, and, uh, well, you're gonna be finding quite a few ones right here, like a Slowpoke. It's not necessarily a rare one, but it's a nice added page to your, P uh, to your Pokedex. Here we have Chansey, and, uh, well, Chansey is one of the hardest Pokemon to actually capture around here. Now, here we have a Voltorb. Many of you guys already know this Pokemon you can actually find near the, uh, power plant. And, well, let's see, this is the home to actually buying some Ultra Balls, too. Now, in the beginning, you can actually get yourself a Fossil. Now, before we do that, as you can see, here we have Lapras, the King of the Seas. We already have one right there on our Pokedex right here. Now, in the beginning, over at Mount Moon, you are able to, uh, to actually pick between two, uh, what was it called, two Fossils. Now, the fossils that you didn't, the fossil that you didn't choose, is gonna be right here in uh, in Fuchsia City. In my situation, I got myself a Kabuto, so this is gonna be an Almanite right here. And as you can see, this one's gonna be added to the page. Now, Almanite's always been a Pokemon that I've never gotten to fill my Pokedex. Now, here we have a Kangaskhan, a maternal Pokemon that raises its young in its pouch and its belly. Look at that. Okay, Kangaskhan, looking pretty good right there. Okay, so. We're going to be going into the Safari Zone first to actually get ourselves a, um, well, to actually get ourselves the Surf Technique and quite a few items. Uh, whatever Pokemon gets in our way, you know, we're going to be capturing them and all that stuff. Um, there are two Pokemon that are very, very hard to, to actually capture, and that is Kangaskhan and Chansey. Another one right here, if you got the Super Rod or Good Rod, you'll be able to actually get yourself... Or find yourself either a Dragonair or a Dratini. So I'm going to attempt it right here. And not even a Nibble. So nobody likes me right here. So, again, there's a lot of steps right here. Well, you only get 500 steps. So, make good use of it. We are going to get the Surf Technique, like I said. And, well, here we found ourselves a Marowak. And the last time we actually seen a Marowak was back in the Pokemon Tower. And that one was dead, so we couldn't have captured it, even if we wanted to. And, well, as you can see, we're going to have to throw some bait at this Pokemon right here. And this Wild Marowak is eating. Now, if you throw a little too much, or if you throw just a little, you know, it, you're not going to be able to capture this Pokemon. So, let's go with the Surf or Safari Ball. And, yes, this Pokemon is getting angry right here, so... It's really messing up, it's really messing with me right now because, yeah. Yeah, I'm using a lot of uh, the Pokeballs right here. And yeah, we're throwing a rock and this is going to be a risk. And, well, here we go. And yes, this Marowak does not want to get captured, so it's running away. Alright, whatever. Um, like I was saying, so you're going to be finding some items. Here we have a Carbos. Many of you guys already know, it. I don't necessarily use them for my Pokemon. I actually sell those for a nice amount of money. And, well, you're going to be finding some pretty rare TMs right here, too. Now, let's see what kind of Pokemon we're going to find. Here we're going to find a Nidoran female. Pretty strong one. We already caught one. And grab this. Found ourselves a TM37. And here we have a Nidoran male. Now, I do believe in this game you can actually... I think trade for one for the other, which is kind of dumb. And here we have another item. And again, make sure to actually, yeah, to actually uh, have some extra slots in your in your in your bag because, well, there's going to be a lot of items uh, that you're going to be finding right here. So far, we found quite a few. Full restore being one of them. And here we have an execute. And yes, we're going to try and capture this little guy right here. One and done. Okay, so let's try it again. And there we go. And this execute is, uh, yeah, making my life, you know what. Um, some of these Pokemon that I capture right here are going to probably be traded to Pokemon red and blue, maybe green, if I can. Mainly, mainly so I can add these guys to the team quickly. 
I know that there's, you know, there's going to be a cap right there for the Pokemon levels, so we're going to have to be careful with that. But, you know, the quicker we get these Pokemon, the better we we can actually get our teams and whatnot. And, well, here we have an Execute again, so it's going to be another attempt to capture this guy. Level 20 is a pretty good level right there, so there we go. One, two, and three. Okay, so we caught ourselves an Execute, and you guys already know. Execute was part of my leaf green walkthrough. The heads attract each other and spin around. There must be six heads for it to maintain balance. And well, we're going to be naming him uh, by its original name. Executo, Execumon. Execumon. Wow, I can't even pronounce that. Exe. Let's see. Exe. Execumon. I don't know if that's. Yes, Execumon. There we go. So. Hopefully that will be actually traded into one of the other games that I have for my Pokemon Journeys HD. And, well, here we have a Nidoran female, which we don't want to get. Yeah, we don't want to get that one. So let's move on right here. And here we found another item, and this is a TM40. I'm going to have to check that up later on. And let's see what this guy is all about. Found ourselves a Protein, which is great. And we're going to be going down right here. And another Pokemon is going to be, uh, you know, getting to us. And here we have a Rhyhorn. This guy I wanted to use because, well, I was always a big fan of Rhydon. And, well, here we go. Come on. Stay. Good gravy. And it ran. Okay, so that's not cool. Again, I'm thinking of some Pokemon that I kind of want to use for, uh, for the other games right here. I'm going to have to probably, like, I've already gotten them started. The only problem is I kind of want to restart them again because, well, I did not like how I started. And here we found Gold Teeth, which is great. And here we, this is usually the one that, yeah, okay. We have 148 steps to spare. And what is a TM36? Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and toss these out. We don't need the Great Balls right now. And... Let's make room for another item. And yes, the escape room is going to be tossed. And grab this. We found ourselves the TM32. And once you come in here, you'll be able to talk to this individual. And he's going to be like, ah, finally. You're the first person to reach the secret house. I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won. And here we have the HMO3. It is the surf technique. HMO, well, yeah, it's surf. Pokemon will be able to ferry you across the water, and this HM isn't dis disposable. You can use it over and over. You're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize, which is great. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to actually waste some time and try and capture some Pokemon with the Super Rod right here. Uh, as many of you guys already know, I am going to try and capture some Pokemon off screen. And, well, here we have a Magikarp, which we already had. Y'all thought that I was going to use Hydra, huh? <laughs> Don't worry, Hydra will make its appearance somewhere down the line. It's just, well, this game right here, I kind of wanted to change it up since it's a mainstay. And, well, let's see, come on, not even a nibble. Okay, nobody wants a piece of me right now. So let's go straight for a Super Rod and nothing, okay. Okay, not right there. Let's see. Nope, we're not doing that. We already know how many badges we have. And come on. Give me a Pokeball. Okay, nothing. Never mind. Okay, so we're, we're just going to waste some steps right here. And uh, wait till we get the heck out of here. So we're going back here. Back there. Back there. It gets all confusing. And well, let's see. What can we find right here? Now, we got 81 steps. Let's go right ahead and start fishing for something. Hopefully, we get something good. And there it is. It's a bite. Okay, what do we got? A Magikarp. Really? A Magikarp. Never mind. Okay, so we're going to be switching out. And, well, let's see. Let's go right here. See if we can actually get a, a Rhyhorn, if we can. And it looks like to me we're not going to find one. Because, uh, yeah, okay, there we go. And, oh! Holy crap, okay, here we have a Kangaskhan. We're gonna try and capture this guy right here, and as you can see, it is a very, very difficult Pokemon to capture. One of the rarest around here. And here we go. 
Nope. As you can see, it, it's a risk. It's a huge risk just throwing bait at it because you will miss. And here we go again. Another Kangaskhan, a lower level Kangaskhan. So let's go right ahead and do that. One, two, and oh, yes! Just like that, we caught ourselves a Kangaskhan and... Look at this, this is the first time. So here we have Kangaskhan, the parent Pokemon. Raises the young in its, uh, in, the, in its belly pouch. Won't run from any fight to keep its young protected. Yes, I am going to nickname this Pokemon. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Let's go ahead and nickname this guy Megas Megas uh, Megascon. Megascon or Megacon. Yeah, Megacon is better. Now, the reason why I'm nicknaming this Pokemon, because I already had it in mind, maybe I should trade this Pokemon to one of the... To red, blue, to red or blue, that way it can be a part of my, a part of my team. So, welcome uh, Megacon. And, uh, well, looks, we're lucky. We're lucky. We caught ourselves a pretty rare Pokemon right there. And, oh my god. Okay, so here is another Pokemon that is super rare. You can actually get both Pinsir and Scyther in this game. Or you can buy it over at the uh, sell it on uh, Rocket Corner, and well, man, I, I've been getting lucky with these Pokemon right here. Okay, so that is the spot to actually locate these guys, and hopefully we get ourselves something good. And yes, this is a Scyther. Kind of want to, I kind of want to actually capture it. Jeebus. Okay, so. Yeah, Scyther, Pinsir, Chansey. These three Pokemon are just, uh... Yeah, these, they will be the death of you if you want to try and capture them. Now, if you want an easy Pokemon, if you want to actually get them easily, then go to the Celadon uh, corner and throw a rock at this guy. And it might run away. And it did. Okay, so... That's probably what I'm going to do. Like I said, I'm... I'm going to try and, uh... Well, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to capture another execute, execute, uh, execute, mainly for the evolution portion right there. There we go, and that right there is, you know, whatever. Come on. Yeah, this guy does not want to come with me, so I'm probably going to be using up all my Safari Balls before I get out of here. Yeah, throw a rock at it, see if it weakens up right here, okay. And here we go, Safari Ball do your trick and nearly did it okay yeah we're using up all our balls right here yeah all our balls and and come on we got to throw a bait at it okay this pokemon does not want to be captured he wants to be fed and uh, yeah okay it ran okay wow that is the most yeah that is the most balls i've ever used hey <laughs> that sounded so wrong and, okay, we get one more opportunity to try and capture this Scyther right here. Come on. Damn it! Come on, Scyther. You want to go with me. One. Damn it! Let's throw a bait at it. We're not going to be able to capture this guy. Oh, Lord. Nope. And we got two Pokeballs left. There's no way we're going to be capturing this Scyther right here. Look at that. It just ran away. Okay, so this is the spot, and we're going to run out of time right here. Yeah, holy crud. Okay, so we're doing some work right here, and I'm just going to toss a Safari Ball. Look at that. And you know what? I'm just going to run away. Okay, I'm just going to run away. We got one. We got eight steps. And there we go. Wow. We took it to the very end right here, guys. I've never actually used that many Pokeballs before. And I am actually happy with the way this thing lasted. Okay, so after doing that, you can go straight back down to Fuchsia City. And you're going to be getting yourself another HM right here. Now, you can actually use Cut right here just to go through the shortcuts. But since you guys already know, I don't like using HMs and whatnot. So we're going to be moving around right here. You know, we're going to be going around and round and round. And uh, let's see. Like I said, off screen, I will be capturing a lot of Pokemon right here. And hopefully they will be actually transported into the other games right here. So let's see. 
Now, if you go to right here, this is the warden, and he's going to be able, he won't be able to speak, or you won't be able to speak to him because he doesn't have his gold teeth. Once you find it in the safari zone, bam, popped it in, and he's like, thanks, kid. No one could understand a word that I said. I couldn't work, it, I couldn't work that way. Let me give you uh, something for your trouble, and we get ourselves the HMO4, which is strength. It lets Pokemon move boulders when you're outside of battle. Oh yes, did you find the secret house in the safari zone? If you do, you can win an HM. I hear it's the, the rare sur uh, surf HM. Now, let's see. We got to do something right here because there's two things that we need to do. Um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff right here. Now this is probably Egg Bomb. No, Double Team, okay. Double Team could be useful. This is Egg Bomb. No, Skull Bash, okay. Um, this is Egg Bomb. Why am I... Okay, Egg Bomb is good. Okay, so I'm going to throw away the full restore because, well, we really don't need the full restore right now. Um, let's see. Who can actually learn strength at the moment? Or who needs strength? And Godzilla can learn it, and Terramon can learn it. So let's go right ahead and give that to Terramon. Now, what kind of move would we move... Uh, will we take away? And that would be the Mega Punch technique. So that's good right there. And bam. And since we want, or since we already won the badge required for strength, we can actually move the boulder right now. So let's go right ahead and go for strength. And bam. We grab this. We found ourselves a rare candy that can be used later. Now, before we do anything else, before we finish up, you go right here, you talk to this individual, and you're going to find the Fishy Guru's brother. I think it's the little brother. And, of course, he loves fishing, so yes, we got to say yes. Unfortunately, we have no room for this this little gift right here. Now, let's see. Who needs the... T who needs the... Uh, who needs this... Uh, whatchamacallit? The, the, this, uh, this rare candy the most. And it, to me, it's looking like Sir Razor. 900 points. Um, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at Aaliyah. Pikachu. And, yeah, you know what? Let's just give it to Aaliyah, okay? I get it. Let's go ahead and give that to Aaliyah. Bam, level 39. Since it's practically our weakest Pokemon. And talk to this guy again. And yes, give it. And we found ourselves a good rod. Which will be able to capture some mediocre... Well, not mediocre, but some pretty good Pokemon as well. Not as good as the Super Rod. So, that is pretty much it for this episode, guys. We did a lot. In the, in the next episode... Let's see. We're going to be battling... I kind of want to say that we're going to be battling Koga. In fact, yes, we are going to be battling Koga, but off screen, I am going to be training my Pokemon, okay? There are a lot of trainers that I have not beaten uh, that is around this region and all that stuff. Obviously, I skipped a, uh, a route around here just for this very reason. So what we're going to do is off screen, we're going to be training our Pokemon. Um, we're going to be capturing some Pokemon off screen too, and uh, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going to Koga's uh, gym, and we're going to be battling Koga, the gym leader of the Fuchsia City Gym. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, the notifications button, if you want to catch all these episodes. And if you want to make a small donation to this channel, yes, the link is in the description right there below. I'll see you guys next time for another episode of Pokemon Yellow. See you guys.